Hi everyone, welcome to the studio today. I'm going to show you a little variation on the theme that I was looking at in the video where I shared how to create some unique shapes just using circle shape cutters and a tissue blade. So we're just going to do a little variation on that. So what I've done, I've got some clay ready just going to pull in this color doesn't really matter what color but i've run this clay through the pasta machine on my second thickest setting so and then i'm just going to fold it in half you can use a an acrylic rod to burnish the two pieces together i'm just going to cover with some baking paper and i'm simply going to burnish over so this, this will adhere my two pieces of clay together nicely. So just remove from the workspace and you can see that I have no air bubbles in there and my clay is well adhered. So I'm going to use a circle shape cutter and I'm simply going to cut a circle shape out. So remember this clay is quite thick and I'm going to also cut, use my small shape cutter and I'm going to cut a circle from the middle of that one. So keep that little bit there, we'll use that one. So now we're going to use a tissue blade to remove it from the work surface. And it's a fairly clean cut, I don't really have to neaten this up too much. What I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to run this through the pasta machine and I'm going to keep my pasta machine on the same setting. So I'm on the second thickest setting and I'm going to pop it on the rollers in this way exactly. So my pasta machine's not in the shot. So you'll see this when it comes back. And look at that. That is just the coolest shape. I've actually been making these shapes for a really long time. So if you, you could create like a pendant, embellish this with some flowers or some, you know, some type of decorative veneer, or you create another one in the reverse. So you would run it through the pasta machine in the opposite direction, if that makes sense and you would have a really cool little pair of earrings. So what if I created a larger piece? I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. And I'm going to use the same circle cutter for the cutout in the center. So we're going to save that little one, we'll use them in a moment, and I now have my piece that I'm ready to put through the pasta machine. Again, there's really not much neatening to do on this because it's these uh, shape cutters are pretty, create a pretty clean cut actually. So let's roll this through the pasta machine, and look, I should also point out, depending on what way you roll through the pasta machine, and I'll do a sample, uh, an example to show you. It will create a completely different finish. All right, so let's just roll this one through this way. And you can see that's really cool, very organic. And what I'm gonna do now, I will quickly just do another little sample. We'll run them through differently and you can see the difference. I'll just do small ones. And you'll be able to see the difference between the two by the way that they're run through the pasta machine. Again, keep the little bits. And that one. So these two, look they're even really cool just like that and you can tweak sorry <laughs> you can tweak the shapes like this as well so you know pretty cool hey all right but i'm going to run this one and this one this one i'll run through straight up and down like this and this one i'll run through on a bit of an angle and we'll see what happens when they've finished so straight up and down for that one 
and this one on an angle. So you can see you get completely different looks. Well, not completely different, but they are quite different. Uh, I'd also like to do this. If I cut them in half, let's just move these out of the way. I have a really cool pair of earrings. It's a bit hard to see where the tops are here, but I'm just going to line them up. A really cool pair of earrings that's, you know, a little bit different, but same, same. So I really like uh, creating different pieces like this. And you know, no one else is going to have the same, just running this through the pasta machine. No one else is going to have the same pair, uh, the same shapes as you because you know, they're all going to be different. It will also um, change depending on the thickness of your clay. So if you start with a thicker sheet of clay, you're gonna get a different effect. It's also gonna change depending on what shapes you're using to cut. So play around with different shapes, play around with oval shapes with a square cutout in the middle. It's going to change every single time. So there you have it, how to create some amazing shapes just using some simple cutters, but running through the pasta machine to create that gorgeous organic look. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.